Hey guys, and welcome back to Vlogs and Frogs. So my name's Ryan Peterson, and this time I was just way too excited about the whole thing and forgot to film an intro. So hi, and let's just get into it. Now these cuties are adorable, but this adorable orange critter isn't even their final form. These newts here have quite the gnarly life cycle. Like, first off, they look like a dry salamander, but they are a newt. Now, all newts are considered salamanders, but not all salamanders are considered newts. Newts are a type of salamander in the Salamandridae family. Newts differ from other salamander species in many ways, like the texture of their skin and their lifestyle. And these newts win the prize for the weirdest salamander lifestyle in Kentucky. And I got so excited because just two weeks before finding these guys, I ran into their aquatic adult stage at a totally different park in Kentucky. They start life as a little egg deposited into a small body of water like a cute pond. Then they hatch out and start life as a small aquatic larva that looks something like these cuties. They have smooth olive green skin with feathery external gills. Then they slowly grow and develop into this orange stage. This is referred to as the F stage, E-F-T, F. -t. They become terrestrial. Their lungs, legs, and even their eyelids become more suited for their life on land. They travel around eating food like spiders, snails, slugs, and springtails. They may even travel very long distances to find a new water source. Now it gets even more fun. After about two to three years, they travel back to water and they slowly transform into this cutie, their final adult form as an aquatic newt. Aren't they cool? Now they do primarily live in water when they reach this adult stage, although they are capable of living on land using the damp conditions among the forest floor. Now, even more fun, there are some populations that will stay in the S stage for the rest of their lives. Then they enter pools of water to breed and go back to being a dry land critter. So at the end of the day, it really is up to them if they want to come back to the water or if they want to stay on land. Either way it goes, they're both gorgeous. I mean, that's pretty obvious by now. Their spots, their amazing flattened tails to help propel them through the water when they are the aquatic adult. Even as larvae, they have those beautiful feathery gills. Just amazing. They can be found all over the eastern United States, by the way, and I first found these in Vermont on a trip to Middlebury College, but I caught the aquatic adult and the eft, and I thought they were two completely different species. But boy, oh boy, now when I was able to re-encounter them out in Kentucky after studying them some, I knew I had to take the opportunity to meet them again, knowing that they are both, in fact, the same species, just a different phase of the gorgeous eastern newt. Isn't learning just the coolest? Well, thank you all for being a part of my learning journey. It's a blessing every day and every time we do this. So we love you all and keep getting outside. Go!